Hi guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will talk about the interpretation of wave function psi that appears in Schrodinger wave equation. As we know that the wave function of Schrodinger wave equation in the form of a wave packet contains the information of the position of quantum mechanical particle. But the Schrodinger equation does not directly provide any guidance for extracting this information of the position of a particle. Secondly, for the particle being very tiny or quantum mechanical in nature, the information of the position of a particle must not be deterministic. Rather, it should contain microscopic description and hence should be probabilistic or statistical. In this video, we will learn how the microscopic description is incorporated in extracting information of different dynamical quantities from the wave function of Schrodinger wave equation. In this regard, let us begin from the one dimensional Schrodinger wave equation, that is this one equation. Where for the sake of mathematical easiness, I have written psi as a function of x and t equals simply as psi. The complex conjugate of this equation can be written by changing the sign in front of iota and putting a steric over the wave function like did in this one equation, where I have considered the potential function v as a real quantity. Now, if I multiply equation 1 from the left with psi steric and equation 2 from the left with psi and changing their position with respect to numbers as we can change the position of number with respect to a function without affecting the final result, we can write equation 1 into this one form where I have multiplied psi steric with each term in the equation. And similarly, I can write equation 2 into this form where I have multiplied psi from the left with each term of the equation. Now, if I subtract equation 4 from equation 3, I can write the equation like this where I have taken iota h bar common in the first term inside the bracket on the left correspond to the first term of equation 3 and the second term inside the bracket correspond to the first term of equation 4 and similarly on the right side of the equation I have taken minus h bar square divided by 2 common where again the first term inside the bracket corresponds to the first term of equation 4 and the second term corresponds to the first term of equation 3 and therefore re psi steric psi appears in both equation cancel out from this result. And if I take iota h bar from the left side to the right side, it cancels the square of h bar square and multiplying and dividing with iota, the right side will cancel the minus sign and will take iota to the numerator of the equation. Now it is straightforward to express the left side of the equation as the time differential of the product of psi steric psi in the form of this one equation. And it is not difficult to express the right side of equation 5 into this form, where on the left I have written the right side of equation 5 and on the right I have rearranged the quantity inside the bracket. If I open up the bracket and use the product rule of differentiation, the right side state away reduces to the left side. So substituting equation 6a in equation 6b into equation 5, we can express that equation into this form. That is the differential of the product of psi steric psi on the left and the other quantity iota h bar divided by 2m partial over partial x in the whole quantity inside the bracket. I will stop right here and will continue the rest part of this lecture in the subsequent with you. Stay tuned and subscribe to Safi Mix if you haven't subscribed yet.